Hello everyone. In this video, we will learn that how we can make multiple regression table in Word file according to APA 7th edition. So, first of all, we will perform multiple regression analysis in SPSS and then we will see which values we have to take to make an APA table of multiple regression analysis. So, let's start. First of all, we will go to the analyze. Then we will click on the regression option, then linear. And here we have to select our independent variable and dependent variables. I'm going to select optimism and self esteem as independent variable. If a person has higher optimism and higher self esteem, is it good for life satisfaction or not? So, life satisfaction is my dependent variable. Higher optimism leads toward higher life satisfaction and similarly self-esteem leads toward life satisfaction. So, in the statistics option, I am going to select confidence interval because these values are required for EPA 7th edition multiplication table in Word file. And if you want to make a correlation table you can click on the descriptive option so i'm just currently going to click on confidence interval option and then i'm going to click on continue button and next ok button so here we have got the multiple regression analysis output now we will see that how we can make apa table of multiple regression analysis I have already made a regression table in Word file and we will see that which values are required to make multiple regression analysis table for predicting life satisfaction. I need constant value, miles and second value we need is optimism because our second variable, first variable is optimism and second variable is self esteem there is no third variable in our analysis if you are performing multi regression on three four five variables independent variable then you can select as many as independent variable here and you can mention them as per your choice as per your analysis i am going to delete this one and uh, then I am going to select this option and going to make a bottom column. So, here you can select the bottom border. And what do we need now? We need unstandardized B, standard error, 95 confidence interval values, beta value, and p value. So, where do we get these values? If you go to multiple regression analysis, you will see that first of all, we get model summary. Here we can get the R square value. Then we have ANOVA table. We can get F value and degree of freedom value here and significance value. And rest we can get the coefficient value like unstandardized coefficient B, standard error, standardized coefficient beta, T value, significant value. So I'm going to select these value and I'm going to take these value in word file. So if we need, if we want to change this constant value, I have to mention minus 1.146 here and then standard error value, which is 1.785. What's the 95 confidence interval? It's minus 4.8. 654 and next value is 2.363. There is no beta coefficient value for constant, and uh, we are keeping it empty. And next, we can see significance value 0 0.521. And I'm going to mention this value as 0.521. Okay, the next one is optimism. The unstandardized coefficient is 0 0.471 and 
and the standard error value is 0 0.074 here as I can see the 95% confidence interval value is 0.325 and 0.618 what's the beta coefficient value standardized coefficient beta value is mentioned here 0 0.309 and next I can mention 0 0.001 that's the p value or significance value for self esteem 0 0.390 is unstandardized coefficient and the standard error is 0 0.061 for 95% confidence interval we have 0 0.270 value and 0 0.511 value So what's the beta coefficient it's 0.311 which shows that optimism has higher score as the beta value is 0.309 but self-esteem has more beta value like it's 0.311 so self-esteem has more score of beta coefficient for life satisfaction than the total optimism so self-esteem play a more greater role in life satisfaction than the optimism because optimism value of uh, beta coefficient is less than self-esteem value and uh, next we have to mention the p value which is less than 0 0.001 so where we can get the r square value and uh, f degree of freedom value we can get these value from ANOVA table so I'm going to get this information here. So what do we have to do? We can get R square value here 0 0.301. So 0 0.301 and the, or we can get F value degree of freedom to 430. So 2 because we have two independent variable and 430 then f value which is 92.776 and p value is significance value is is 0 0.001 so this is the way you can report or you can make a table of multiple linear regression and I am going to place this table and word file under the video description you can download the, the word file and you can use this table for your own thesis research paper if you go to multiple regression analysis portion of APSMS edition you will see that they have mentioned two table like one of this, this table is mentioned as regression coefficient of leader sleep on charismatic leadership. I have got this table from APS 7th edition. But this table is for hierarchical multiple regression. This table is not for multiple linear regression because model 1, model 2, you didn't get these values in multiple regression analysis. You would get these values in hierarchical multiple regression. In the next video, we will see that how we can make hierarchical multiple regression table I have got this table from two of the books one is SPSS for intermediate statistics and the second one is applied multivariate research because APA 7th edition provides us a table of hierarchical multiple regression it doesn't provide multiple linear regression table